If you can imagine a being that knew you before you were born, that actually created you, you think you were created just like that? No. He is com incomparably in love with you more than you even think. Well, I grew up as a Jewish, half Jewish, half German, and my family is mostly Jewish. So when, when you ask who's God, in the beginning of my life, I always thought God was the Father, and I never knew the Son for so many years. And uh, it was only until I had uh, God come to me with all of His glory and might, and I, I finally found God, like He came to me with such strong, ferocious, and beautiful and heavenly. It's like the highest of the high, the Lord of Lords, came to me. I still didn't know who Jesus was, but I got a glimpse the first time in my life. I was playing guitar in the subway, and then when I was playing, He just came to me with all His glory. So I ran out of the subway. I got myself a Catholic Bible, and I started reading. But I didn't really engage myself as much as. I would in the future. And one year afterwards, I've been playing for a whole year that same melody, and I was sitting at my sister's lobby, and His glory came. And all you can do when He comes to you with such strong love, you just bow your knees down and cry. And then I asked my friend John to baptize me, and he didn't know what was what, but I just had this feeling that I had to be baptized right away. So I got the water, he poured it over my head, and I walk, walked home that night, and then when I lay in bed, I was glowing. And the next night, I dropped my guitar, dropped everything, I was in search for God, I was so hungry. I, I went everywhere, and I was homeless for so many weeks. And then one day, um, I was in Union Square, and I was reading the Bible, and then suddenly everything was quiet. You couldn't hear a thing. Not a car, not people talking, nothing. It was in the park in the midday. And I looked up and I saw the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. It was an angel. And it had four wings. And it had a long robe, white robe. And it was floating in the sky. It didn't even notice that I was there. It was just floating beautifully, gently in the sky, like so gracefully. And I just stared at it for like 40 minutes, and I was like, I, I, was in, I was in awe, complete awe. And then after time passed, there was a, a roar. Imagine so quiet, you see the angel, and then a roar. A roar of a dragon, like Godzilla, something like that. And I was like, this is like the most monstrous type of roar I've ever heard in my life. What is it? And it was Satan. Because he knew he was being defeated. He knew that his time was up, that God took control of my life. And then when I opened the, Bi the Bible, there was light coming out of it, like warm, glowing light. And um, when day turned into night, everything in the park was golden and glowing and warm. It was almost like God took me and put me in heaven on earth and just showed me what, a glimpse of what would heaven look like. And then the police came, my parents came for some reason, they knew I was there. How, how would they know I was in there because I was homeless for two weeks searching? And I went back home. Um, as I woke up in my parents' house, um, some strange spiritual activity was going on. So I looked in the mirror, my face was all swollen. I looked like a, and they thought someone beat me up, but it wasn't that. It was just like a, a battle for my soul. And uh, after that, I was wandering the streets until I finally got hospitalized. So in the hospital, they sent me to the psychiatric ward because I had conditions of being bipolar. So, I was reading the Old Testament in my room all day, every day, and a janitor named David was um, always there to check up on me, see how I was doing, asking me questions about the Bible. So, in the morning, 
I was reading the Bible and there was, the words were disappearing from the book. And uh, I was really freaking out. And then David comes out, he's the janitor. He said, I said, David, you gotta help me. Um, I'm really scared. And he said, don't worry, read Timothy chapter two. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood by me and delivered me out of the mouth of the lion. When I read those words, the Holy Spirit entered inside me and I felt the most amazing peace that I've ever felt in my life. The moment when the Holy Spirit entered, I realized Jesus was my Savior. I felt as if peace just entered inside me. God to me is everything. I would not be alive if it wasn't for God.